Shalom and Shabbat Shalom. I find that I look forward to Shabbat every week. It does provide a different perspective on living life. And it enables us to be together as a community and how important that is. Truth be told, some weeks Shabbat seems to have greater importance than others. Those are often connected to things that are going on either around us personally or communally or things that are happening in the world. I think we all feel a particular amount of stress, anxiety, and sadness that there's a war in the world again as Russia threatens the integrity of the autonomous nation of the Ukraine. And we realize that the possibilities of the of this war has immense, immense implications for the entire world, certainly including each one of us. So coming together on Shabbat will be, if not a, um, an escape from what we're seeing consistently and constantly on the news, but it will also allow us to be together and find comfort in, in each other, in our community, and in faith. This Parsha we're reading this morning is called Vayakel. And Vayakel has the same root letters as Kehila, which means community. It's interesting to note that the word Vayakel refers to Moses gathering the people together. He gathers to the people together after some shattering incidents, things that could have broken the community. We're talking about the building of the golden calf, which actually would send the people in a direction that was totally opposite to the direction that the God who redeemed them from Egypt and gave them a law intended the people to go. And then Moses' response was also literally a shattering experience as he took the Ten Commandments, the tablets of the law that he brought down from Sinai, and he shattered them too. The response to that kind of breaking, that the response to the shattering, the response to the cracks that appeared, was to bring the community together. We know how important it is when people come together during difficult times. We understand how important Shiva is for individuals in a family when they suffer after a loss and feel so isolated. We do come together. So this Shabbat we come together and we reaffirm the importance of a community. Moses understood that. And what's interesting is he brings the community together to begin the work on the building of the Mishkan, the tabernacle in the wilderness, but he also brings the community together and before those instructions, he said, you don't do that work on Shabbat. Shabbat is a time to uh, get together as a community, as it were, it's a time for God, it's a day of rest. And so we do that also understanding that being together on Shabbat is a way of affirming our wholeness and reestablishing ourselves in a different way as we move forward in the week ahead. I wish you Shabbat Shalom, and I wish the power of our community to continue to give each and every one of us strength.